Yes, I know Christmas is over and it's high time that I take this decor off. But just for this video, let's pretend that Christmas is still going on. What's up everyone, welcome to 2022 and I think this is the first video that I'm shooting like a sit down video for this year so I hope this is off to a great start. So if you watched my planner setup video you know that one of my mini goals this year is to read one book a month. In fact I had set the same goal last year but I only ended up reading 8 out of 12 books which I still would regard as progress but this year I really hope that I do get to read more books and for that I did actually go ahead and buy loads and I mean loads of books from Crossword and Landmark so the first I think five books I bought from Landmark in uh, Forum Mall Bangalore and the next set of books I bought from Kerala Lulu Mall from Crossword and the moment I shared this on my Instagram I got so many DMs asking me to share the book haul so no more talking let's quickly jump in because I can't wait to share what all I got you know the funny thing is it's actually been a while since I've shopped in person for books because most of the books that I bought are either Kindle so it's obviously just ebook or I ordered it online from Amazon because they do have a lot of sale and it's much cheaper that way but this time while shopping I really did not realize how much I missed that in-person experience of shopping for books and holding the book and feeling looking at the cover in person turning the pages reading a couple of pages it's a very special feeling and I'm glad that I did shop in person for these but yeah you will be getting all these books for oh I just dropped one oh as I was saying, yes, you will definitely get all these books for much cheaper if you buy them from Amazon. So I will link all these books in the description box so you can check them out, buy them for yourselves and comment down below if you're joining me for the one book a month challenge. Now the first book that I want to share is the book that I'm currently reading for the month of Jan and if you're part of my Insta fam, you already know this and the book I'm talking about is The 40 Rules of Love. This is how the cover looks. It's so stunning. Honestly, I was taken by the cover itself apart from the fact that I've heard a lot about this book. The author is Elif Shafak. It is a fiction. It is Sufi, mysticism, spirituality, love of course. I mean the title says it all. It's like a mixture of all of that. I would read the summary for you but here's a funny thing about me. I don't like reading the summaries of fiction books that I'm planning to buy because I don't like to know anything about the book. So I literally judge the book by its cover but but I don't just go by that. I also check the reviews on Goodreads or Amazon and take a call for myself. So yeah, here's the close-up of the summary. You can pause it and read it if you'd like. I love what it says on the cover. A gorgeous, jeweled, luxurious book. Ah, I've already finished half of the book as you can see. I have not enjoyed fiction for a while which is why I've stayed away from them and I've been really passionately reading non-fiction books which has been the case for the last couple of years but this year I thought you know I should just start off with fiction and see where it takes me and oh my lord am I glad I picked this book. Trust me if topics like spirituality, Sufism, mysticism, love and the amalgamation of all of that interests you also a really interesting plot line. I love that there's so many storylines going on here. It really keeps the reader hooked. Go ahead and get this if you are in for a fictional treat. Now that was the only book that I have read which is why I could give a bit of review. Uh, the other books I literally have no clue. Next book is called as Breath. A very simple title and this is by James Nestor. It says the new science of a lost art. This is a non-fiction book so I did go ahead and read what's behind just to get a grasp on you know what this book exactly talks about or what I can learn from it. This book is basically about a journalist who travels around the world and talks to many people on the concept of breath or breathing. We all breathe apparently 25,000 times a day yet humans have lost the ability to breathe correctly with grave consequences. So I just found it very interesting from a health perspective. This not just talks about your breath in relation to your physical body but also breath in relation to your mind. So yeah, I'm very very excited to try this book out. Let me know if any of you have read it and if you liked it or not. The next book is from one of my favorite authors and that is Paolo Coelho, Veronica Decides to Die. I know this sounds extremely morbid, but it's not. Honestly, when I did see it on the shelf, I read the title, I was like, whoa, whoa, seems a bit heavy. But while I was at the bookstore, I was just researching on, you know, which next Paolo Coelho book I should read. And this one was one of the top ones that people were recommending because just like any other Paolo Coelho book, the meaning of the book is much farther than what meets the eye. Of course I didn't read the summary but if you're interested you can pause and have a look for yourself. So yeah I really hope I enjoy this. Let me know if you have read this particular book and what you think of it. Next I have this book titled as Anitya and this is by the author Gayatri Jairaman. Of course you can see the hook on top. It basically says how to make the most of change and transform your life. A non-fiction again and 
and I did go and read what's behind. Anitya means impermanence in Sanskrit. The author shows us how to navigate the pain of change by practically applying the philosophy of the Buddha's four noble truths. It shares real life experiences of people from different walks of life, Zen stories, Vedic and Buddhist philosophies, guided meditative practices, etc., etc. I think you guys get the vibe and gist of this book. So honestly, I didn't see a lot said about this book online. I feel something just spoke to me about this book. I did open like one random page and I just thought that these are things that I don't really know about so knowledge wise I would just like to know more and expand uh, what I would normally read. Let me know if you guys have read this or heard of it and what you think of it because I'm quite curious to know what this book actually entails. Next up we have this really cool book called as Dear Stranger, I Know How You Feel and this is by Ashish Bagrecha and on top it says A Journey of Hope and Healing. Now just the title really pulled me in because it sounds so comforting, right? This is how the back looks. I also love how the entire summary is also in terms of Dear Stranger stranger like a letter that the author is writing to you again this had really good reviews on amazon you could just really open any page and go ahead with it i can see some poetry and stuff inside and there seems to be a variety of topics that they are covering about patience about hope about loss about hard work i just feel uh, it might be a very comforting and healing book to me so i can't wait to read this so those are all the things that i got from landmark now moving on to the crossword stuff the next book is called as the art of impossible and this is by steven kotler this is how the back looks again it's just a lot of positive reviews about the book from many critiques it just seems to be life changing for everyone who's uh, reviewing the book what does it take to accomplish the impossible what does it take to shatter our limitations exceed our expectations and turn our greatest hopes into our most recent achievements if that doesn't hook you i don't know what will especially if you are searching for that extra push or that drive that you need to achieve your goals let me know if you have read this particular book and if you have then what do you think of it next up we have this classic book by deepak chopra and it's the seven spiritual laws of success it's a very tiny book it even says pocket book here it's quite a small book you can see it's just few pages and yeah even the handwriting you can see it's quite big so it's going to be an easy read i will admit i also got it for the cute small handy size and it's hardbound i'm a sucker for hardbound books in fact every other book that i got are all soft covers i love this artwork here this is something that really pulled me when it came to this book i feel spirituality is a vast concept and it means different things to different people so yeah i feel he's really concisely mentioned what the seven spiritual laws of success are i myself don't know any of these laws so i'm very intrigued and excited to know about this so yeah let me know if you have read this particular book next up we have the magic mindset this is by preeti shanoi again it's a non fiction book it's just about how you can find the silver lining despite the really really bad circumstances that life can present to you while positivity is about looking at the bright side of things the magic mindset embraces and accepts that it is not always possible to do so basically it talks about the mentality of toxic positivity it has fun tips suggestions exercises practical advice on career family health relationships finances so yeah it all sounds great it does not seem like just another fluffy read on be positive so yeah i hope i'm not wrong and let me know if you have read this book and lastly yes we're finally on the last book we have untamed it's glennon doyle stop pleasing and start living that's what really grabbed my attention because as much as i feel i do my own thing i don't care about what other people think etc that's very surface level that's what i think of myself but when i dive deeper i do realize there are different pockets where i do tend to be a people pleaser and i realized to be my best self to unleash my full potential i need to stop pleasing everyone around me and guys look at the back this is one question that i feel all of us need to ask ourselves more often who were you before the world told you who to be this was the last book i picked from crossword and i was thinking do i need it and that's when this caught my eye the adele herself is saying this book will shake your brain and make your soul scream I am so ready for myself after reading this book. I mean, that gave me so much energy and I was all in. I was like, screw it, I am getting this right this moment. No regrets there. I hope this book is as good as Adele says it is. Those were all the books and I know like 90% of them were non-fiction. And if you notice, these are also offbeat books. Like these are not the typical self-help novels that you see on the best 
bestsellers list or screaming on every personal self-help or productivity guru pages which I wouldn't otherwise find on my Amazon bestsellers search list. I hope you enjoyed this book haul. Do let me know by giving this video a big big thumbs up. It was actually I think the first book haul ever on my channel. Wow that, that's a long time and that's it. I will be quickly taking this decor off until then. I'll see you in my next video. Till then stay happy, positive and blessed and be kind to yourself guys. Bye!